Hello everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for clicking on the video. So in this video I want to share the flip through of this lovely new book called Precious Animals, adult colouring book from Sally Berry Publishing. So I received this new book for free from Sally Berry um, Colouring in exchange for an honest review. So the book's approximately 21 and a half centimetres by uh, 28 centimetres, which is roughly A4 size. It currently retails on Amazon UK for £4.99. Um, it's on Amazon printed paper, which says at the back here. Um, and it's single sided with um, black double pages, as you can see, um, which will avoid bleed through. There is a small preview design on the facing page where you can test out your supplies and you know try out your ideas and there's also six colour charts here on the opposite page of your design to test out your colour palettes and your blending combinations. Okay so let's have a flip through. So um, a really nice cover as you can see I think that's an alpaca on the front. Um, so it's got animals featured of course in this book and with really nice designs as well so there's detail for you to colours. That's the title page there's the book belongs to page here and I'll show you also the couple of pages that I've coloured in it so then we have read this before you start which is an information page a little a little bit about um, the activity of colouring and how it allows you to relax and avoid stress um, advice about the tools you can use Amazon printed paper being you know quite suitable for soft coloured pencils um, such as Prismacolor for example um, but I've tried Holbein's on here which are really soft as well which work well that doesn't mean that you can't use other types of pencils it just says it's more suitable for you might find that you know you 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 like how that hard pencils lay down and you get quite good results um, also the double black pages there it tells you to avoid bleed through which is good because you can use that if you're using alcohol markers um, it says you can even take out your page if you want the pages are not perforated but you can find an Amazon on Amazon a tool called a page perforator um, and then of course some more information about it and you can share your work as well some information at the back next page test your colors and tools so the thing that's quite unique about this book um, and I've only seen a similar idea being used in the Ruby Charm colouring books um, where you have the main design and then you have an area to practice on the main design, the tools or the colour palettes that you want to choose. Um, I've only seen it in Ruby Charm book and this is a, a whole image where I was thinking the Ruby Charm books there's actually parts of the image that you get on this on the opposite page so I think that's a really good idea and um, you know it'd be great if more colouring book publishers actually use that idea as well um, so what else have we got so yeah the double black pages I've already mentioned and then the special page um, which you will see as we go through okay so it even says this black page helps to avoid bleed through there so there we go, we've got a lion to start with and I really like the details um, inside the image, so the leaves etc. Um, and there you've got your smaller design where you can try out your colour palettes, you can do your blending swatches etc. And then your double black uh, backed pages. So um, next animal there, I think it's a deer. And I like this, um, you know, the jewels, because that looks like jewels to me. So I'd, I'd you know, enjoy using glitter gel pens here um, or even metallic paints. Um, koala, really cute. I think this is a wolf. I really like this one particularly because you just haven't got the um, animal itself um, you've got a nice background um, in the pictures as well so this is a lovely um, sun in the background and then I think a lake and of course the animals um, are stylized with with these lovely design features so you can make them look really really good 
think this is a bear. Please excuse me if I if if I mistake the animal for something that they're actually not. <laughs> All right. So here we come to um, my gecko, um, and so you can see here that I've used a lot of media. But to start with here, I did some um, when I was choosing my colour palette. I decided to um, just bring you in a little bit. I decided to try out uh, some of my colour combinations, you know, for the flower and for the gecko itself, um, as well as to see what uh, my how my other media would work on the paper. Um, I used lots of different things on here, lots and lots of different things. I used white Posca, Holbein soft white pencils were the ones that I used. The Holbein pencils I used um, my Jelly Roll gold here and the silver. I used my Pentel Joel Metallic Hybrid around these um, rectangle gems. Um, I used glossy accents, so I'll show you where I used my glossy accents, just on the uh, these centre parts of these rectangle gems, if you can see it. Um, and then I used my Colero Fine Tech paints, uh, where did I use them? Oh here. So in the middle there, these these you can see are my paints that I used. So they're water based. So you can see if you use um, you you know a small amount of water based paints, the paper can take it. It's you know hardly crinkled really. You know it's flat as you can see. Um, you just shouldn't you know um, use it excessively because obviously it is Amazon paper, but it can handle small amounts. I used uh, my silver. Halo glitter mix, which you can see again around these rectangle gems. So it took this media really well. Um, Nouveau Mermaid Parade glitter, I think I used that there around these uh, diamond type uh, features on my gecko. Um, I used Jelly Roll glaze pens, Jelly Roll moonlight, pan pastels for the background, and then I used my Inca Gold uh, thick acrylic paste. Um, in the background as well and some stickles glitter glue so you can see I'm really pleased with that and I'm pleased with how um, the paper could take all those media you can also see bring you out a bit now a bit closer you can also see the uh, blend uh, this blend swatch for my pencils there um, as well so um, really pleased pleased with that and you know that's my gecko. So I've got one more page as well that I've done in here, apart from that one. There we go. I think that's a goose. It looks like it's ready for a wedding. There. Um, spider, which some of you might not like. I don't like spiders. I like. I don't mind colouring them, but um, I don't like them in real life. I'm scared of them. And then jellyfish. Nice simple one as well. So you've got simpler images as well. Uh, I could just imagine using stickles on these bits here or even loose glitter. So yeah, and, and then, you know, just using a variety of media because you can still use a variety of media. Um, the frog with this big gem here. Um, bird of prey. An elephant that looks really nice. Uh, these fiery bits here. Can you imagine them um, using reds, oranges, and yellows there? rhinoceros and for its um, horn here it's got a gem so suppose if you like doing gems as well this is um, a great book for that and then we have this some sort of um, you know big cat I'm not sure that might be a raccoon I'm not 100% sure but I think it might be a raccoon Snake, lots of design here. 
So yeah, for £4.99 I think it's very much worth it, particularly because you get this extra feature here which is quite useful. The uh, giraffe. Looks like a hair that. And this bit's nice with a little candle. Could do a night scene there, I suppose. Oh, and, and a little butterfly. That's that's great, that butterfly with this whole feature here of a shiny ring. So you can really practice your gems. Um, I mean, that's the, that's the name of the book, isn't it? Precious Animals. So you've got all these gems um, on the animals, you know, as a theme. And there's um, the image from the, the front of the page, uh, sorry, the front of the book. We've got a parrot, this big bow here. And then this is the other picture that I have done, which is the squirrel. And again, we've got these uh, crystals here. And uh, I did a bit of testing here. Again, I also, um, because there's space on this page, and I, I like to write down, um, you know, what media I use. Not for every single picture I do, but if there's space on the opposite page, you know, I'm going to be able to write it down and, I, and I'll do it. Um, and I've done a f few um, blending swatches here as well. So I use lots of different things on here. Again, I use Spectrum Noir um, Tri-Blend Alcohol Markers this time, so you can see that there's a little bit of darkening there, but nothing's gone through onto this other page here. So you don't even have to put another page in here because it's a double backed page. Um, you know, it's going to avoid any bleed through. If you're if you're still a bit nervous about it, then of course put sheet through. I mean, there's there's no problem with that. But if you forget, um, it's not going to go through because um, you can see there that it's not gone through. So I used my alcohol markers for the main body of the squirrel. Um, I used also my Lemouche markers as well, which are the alcohol markers. I used my Holbein pencils and my Prismacolors. Um, I used a white Posca. I didn't write, I forgot to write Prismacolors down. A white Posca. My pearl, my pearl acrylic paints, which is these pink bits here that you can see. Just a few little pink parts here. And that, that laid down really well as well. So, you know, you can use acrylic paints and a small amount of water-based paints. Um, I used my Deco Art Glamour Dust Ice Crystal. I don't know if you can see there, the shimmer off the crystals. Um, so they've got the Deco Art Glamour Dust Ice Crystal on there. Lift it up a bit. Okay, so there we go. And then um, loose glitter as well, which is this dark glitter here on the actual squirrel. Um, and then for the background, I used another medium, which is the Distress Inks. It's not been applied you know brilliantly but it's okay for a beginner like me um, so that's also there so my distress inks it was fun to use them and practice with them and then on these um, like bubble circles I've used my Nouveau glitter drops so yeah I'm quite pleased with how that came out so that's my squirrel nearly at the end. Um, zebra. Again it's got the designs in the background which is really nice. And that's a ram. And then it says do you want 10 extra images to download for free and you need to join the Facebook group and get them. So there's information of how to do that some more information and um, examples of the other available books Sweet Home and Flower Mandalas uh, some social media information there and then a few a uh, couple of blank pages at the end and so this is the back of the book so I um, hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the flip through of this new book um, like I said this is available on Amazon 
and um, currently it is £4.99 um, on the UK Amazon. So I hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much to Sally Berry again for uh, thinking of me for completing this review. I really appreciate it and thank you everyone for watching. So until next time, take care of yourself. Goodbye.